All right, this also is uh, out of your note packet. I'm sorry about that. The mad scramble to get things done. I omitted a couple of things, but don't worry, I've got you covered. So differentials, what is that? That's the dy dx part of the derivative. So let y equal f of x, and it's gonna be a differentiable function. The differential dx is an independent variable. We treat it like its own little thing. It goes together. And the differential dy is equal to dy equals f prime of x dx. Think about this. If I have y equals f of x, then dy dx is equal to f prime of x. The cool thing about this is I can treat all three of these pieces uniquely. Uh, I can treat dy as a unique piece, dx as a unique piece, and f prime of x as a unique piece. So all I'm going to do to get dy all by itself is multiply both sides by dx. And that's how we get this formula right here. It's actually kind of cool. And it's important because we use this a lot when we take when we are using integrals. So let's just look at a couple things real quick. What if I said to you, hey, I've got y equals uh, y equals x to the fifth plus 37x. X to the fifth plus 37x. Um, find dy. if x equals 1 and dx equals 0 0.01. Well, hey, guess what? Remember just a second ago, I said we've got three pieces. We've got one, two, three pieces. I need two of those pieces to find the third. So all I'm going to do is take the derivative here, derivative, so y prime. Uh, let's actually do it this way. Let's say dy dx. And what does that equal? That equals 5x to the fourth plus 37. Okay, there's that guy. But I need dy. So I'm going to multiply both sides by dx times dx times dx. And, and it's not just 37 times dx. It's the whole thing times dx. So dy is equal to 5x to the fourth plus 37 times dx. Now, all I need to know is what my x value is and what my dx value is, and I'm off and running. That's all there is to it. So dy is going to be equal to 5 times 1 to the 4th plus 37 times 0 0.01. That's it. So 5 plus 37 times 0 0.01. Uh, 5 plus 37 is 42 times... Actually, since we've got that decimal, 0 0.01. And what is that going to be? Uh, 0.42, I think, is what that one's going to end up being. 0.42, yep. So that's how you do that. So if you're, if you're given a question like that, it's, it's not a problem. You can, find, um, you can find different things about area. You can find different things about relative percent when you look at all this. So... This is really a cool tool to have because it allows us to isolate one of those variables, the dy or the dx variable, to solve for all the other parts. And remember the dy and the dx, that's just the change in y and the change in x. So if x changes by 0 0.01, how much does y change at the same spot? Um, and, and that's all there is to this part. So on this time, what we're going to do is we're going to work with the notation that f prime is going to be equal to dy dx. That's going to help us the most with this particular set of problems because then it gives us those two separate pieces. Okay? Good luck!